All right, we're going to look at the relationships between a major key and its relative minor key. This is a one-page lesson, and then the next four pages are just working in different key signatures and seeing the connections between their relative minor keys. So, in the gray box at the top, we're going to fill in the blanks. Every major key has a relative. I'm going to use red here has a relative minor key which shares the same what? They have the exact same key signature. Okay, They use the exact same key signature, they share the exact same sequence of notes, they just have a different starting note. That's it, they start at a different point in that sequence. To find the relative minor of a major key you can count down the interval of a what, or up the interval of a what. You can count down the interval of a minor third, or up the interval of a major sixth. Either way will get you to the same letter name. You may have heard people talk, you may have heard me talking about uh, another way to think of finding the relative minor key of a major key is starting from the major key. Uh, we'll, we'll take C major as an example. All right? Here's C major at the top of your circle of fifths. From the, rel from the major key, you can count down on the keyboard, down three half steps to find the, the beginning of its relative minor key which has the same key signature. So three half steps down from C is A, if you look at, look at a keyboard. Three half steps down from G is E. Three half steps down from D is B. All right, it's always that three half steps down or down a minor third, if you want to think of it that way, or up a major sixth, or up to the sixth note of the major scale. And other people want to think of it that way. Think of the, the sixth note of a major scale. And that gives you the beginning of the minor scale. So, you know how to complete the outside circle of this circle of fifths all the way around. That's, we've already done that lesson, so you can do that first. And once you've got that, you can then go ahead and complete the inner circle, which contains your, the beginning notes of your minor keys. So if over here you have F major, down three half steps, or up a major sixth, to get to the beginning note of the minor scale. This key signature has one flat, this key signature has two flats, etc., all the way around. And of course, at the bottom of your, of your circle of fifths, where you have that wide, that oval, that's where you're going to have two different answers. Right? Uh, you'll recall from when we worked on the major keys, this is the key of F sharp major. And on this side, this is the key of G flat major, right? Uh, six flats, six sharps. And so you're going to have two different minor answers as well. What is the relative minor of G flat major? It's down three half steps. What is the relative minor of F sharp major? It's down three half steps. Since these two notes are enharmonic notes, You'll also see that these two notes in here are enharmonic names. All right, so use that to your use that little trick to your advantage as you're finishing as you're figuring out uh, the circle of fifths for minor keys. Uh, once you have that done, it should help you answer this question, these questions below. Refer to your new diagram to answer the following questions. All right, what is the relative minor of F major? Relative minor of A major? Look at the connections. All right. So pause the video right now, complete that circle of fifths in its entirety. Go for it. Okay, the next four pages are simply practice pages working in a few different key signatures. Uh, we'll go to the next page right now, and you will see uh, that we're working in, the first one is, whoops, let me just grab, uh, first one is in E major, the next page is in B major, 
The next page is A flat major. And of course, the next page, the final page is D flat major. They are all essentially the same worksheet, but working in different key signatures. So the first one, for example, we're on uh, page 36 in your book. Right? Key, key of E major, you can easily tell me what the key signature is because you have your circle of fifths. Right? The key signature of E major has a key signature of how many sharps? And its relative minor key is something minor, right? You should be able to figure that out too because you have your answer key. You have that circle of fifths from the previous page to answer this. Write the key signature of E major four times, treble clef, bass clef, treble clef, bass clef. Uh, practice dry, writing, that key, writing that scale a few different ways. Uh, in the treble clef, one octave ascending using a key signature. Uh, in the bass clef, one octave ascending using accidentals. So no key signature this time, but put the sharps where they belong, in front of each proper note. And then for each page, you're also going to have a few little practice exercises. Um, this one, for example, asks you, true or false, this piece of music is in E major. There's no key signature given, but you need to analyze the accidentals and decide for yourself if these accidentals correlate, do they agree with the key signature of E major? So is this piece in, of music in E major? Well, if all of these sharp symbols are part of the E major scale, then yes it is. And then write these individual notes from E major. What's the tonic note in E major? What's the dominant note of E major? What's the upper tonic and what's the leading note? You know what the key signature is, so you should be able to figure out all those notes uh, within the key of E major. Notice how we are blending together all, a lot of the information that we did from the last bunch of lessons. The tonic, dominant, and leading note. Uh, using key signatures, writing scales, all of that stuff. We're doing that within a specific key. In this case, uh, in the, on this page, we're doing it in E major. Uh, on, the, on the next page, we're going to do the same thing in B major. And then in A flat major, so now we're going to be in flats. And then finally in D flat major. D flat major will have more flats, of course, uh, but of course your circle of fifths will tell you that anyway. Finish up those four worksheets. We'll take them up here and there in class. I'll certainly answer questions, help you get ready for the next uh, theory test. Off you go. Enjoy.